Up next, SoapNet presents Port Charles. I am going to turn off this crazy machine permanently. An innocent hobby becomes a haunting obsession. I can't be. Can't. Karen killed you. This computer has a mind of its own, and it seems it wants me. It's a little too mysterious and spooky for me. With bizarre consequences. Poor Charles. Time in a bottle. Coming up next, right here on SoapNet. to do was make up with us and i wouldn't let her it was horrible Look, you just told her how you felt yeah and she had a heart attack because of what i said and i may have killed her tomorrow i may have killed my own grandmother dr wexler guess where i am and what i've got in my hand other than a cell phone is this an obscene call <laughs> I am in my garage with an empty box that won't be empty much longer because... More guessing, huh? Because I am packing up what's left of Nellie, that's why. Oh, well, if you're trying to put a smile on my face, it's working. We still on tonight? We better be. Talk to you in a couple hours. I hope they go fast. Oh, and uh, say goodbye to her for me. Bye. That can't be. Karen killed you. We pulled out all the wiring. I can't talk to you. Then there's no one else. Everyone's gone, so I might as well go, too. So goodbye, Frank. Goodbye. Come on, Cookie. Be there. Please be there. Cookie. I'm back. You're not alone. Are you okay? It's Frank. Come on, Cookie, talk to me. Talk to me. We can stop. If we don't give Ariana the hepatin, we won't be able to do the liver transplant and she'll die. I said no. I'm taking Ariana out of this hospital. Please, keep your voice down. I'm keeping my voice down when you get off me. I will not let you take her out of this hospital. For the last time, I'm taking her. I will not let you or your people kill her. Allison? Dr. Quartermain, how, how is she? She's going to be fine, but you're going to have to give her some time. So what was it? A heart attack, but a mild one from the look of it. We're going to know a lot more when the test results come in. She's going to get better. We'll know a lot more when the tests come back. But all the signs are good. Can I see her? I, I promise I won't stay very long. Just a minute. Oh, okay, but just a minute. Thank you. Smith to OR, Dr. Joanne Smith to OR. Huh? I'll be right here. Diana, it's me, Allison. You know, you really scared me, you know. Look, um, maybe I, I went too far with the things that I said. 
but I didn't, I didn't mean any of it. It's just that nobody in the world can make me half as mad as you. And I, I wouldn't have said any of it in the first place if I didn't just miss you and want things to be back to the way they were. And they will be. Just as soon as you get better, I promise. <laughs> because no matter what, no matter what you say or I do, one thing never changes. <laughs> That's I love you. Come on, Cookie. Come on. Cookie, it's me, Frank. I'm here. Step into the light. Look who's back. The light. Welcome back, Frank. <laughs> I miss you. Welcome back, Frank. I missed you. Why didn't you answer? I've been worried. Doesn't matter. Life stinks. My dad's my dad. My best friend's gone. I was hoping this guy at school would ask me to this dance but he doesn't even know i'm alive could totally disappear like i'm bewitched and nobody no nobody'd miss me oh. i'd miss you who would i talk to karen doesn't want you to don't worry about Karen. I'm here now, right? You're there, wherever that is. Are you drinking? Drink, drunk, <laughs> feels so much better. Know what it feels like? to hate your life. I've had my moments, sure. But I dug my way out again. What are you doing to make it better? Let me help you. You can't. Yes, I can. Come on, doesn't it help when we talk? I guess. Then let's talk face to face. Cookie, what do you say? We'll sit, have a soda, talk about anything you want. What do you think? Okay, where? Oh. Uh, you name it. Where do you like to hang? You know where Kelly's is? Sure. I've been going there forever. How about tonight? Uh, 6, 630. 
Okay, tonight, 6.30, Kelly's. I am so sorry. It's all right. Just let me talk to you for five minutes. That's all I ask, please. It's not gonna do please. any good. Please. Come on. Dr. Russo to the nursery. Dr. Robert Russo. What is it that you are trying to prove? I'm not trying to prove anything. Then what are you doing? I'm doing what's best for my wife. You keep reminding me of that. Well, it's a fact. A wife is somebody that you love. A wife is somebody that you want to spend the rest of your life with. Is that what Ariana has become to you? Is that what you're trying to tell me? You're the only woman I'll ever love. I'm trying to save a life here. Ian, you're too close. You have to step back. I'm trying to do the right thing. I know. And I know what you're going through. You have no idea what I'm going through. Hey. You have no idea what... I know you well enough to know that when you look at Ariana, you see Grania slipping away all over again. I... Listen, Ariana is not your sister. You couldn't save Grania. But you can save Ariana. Well, that's what I'm working on. That's okay, what I'm trying to... let's do it together. Because I want to do my best to save her, too. Ian, after everything we've gone through together, We've saved each other's lives God knows how many times. We've loved each other through a million lifetimes. Hey, trust me on this. No. It's your time to trust me. I know Ariana better than anyone. And I know that she's not strong enough to survive any complications that could arise from this drug. So you're really going through with this? You're really going to take yes. her out of here? Yes. And if you want to help me, you'll not try to stop me. Don't try and talk, Nana. I just... I came in to tell you how sorry I am. I'm sorry. I should apologize to you and Jamal. No, shh. Don't try and talk. Just stay quiet and calm. I don't want to lose you. <laughs> in a motorcycle shop on that filthy floor. <laughs> no way. I'm too much of a snob. You mean you're too tough? Tough on you. I tried to help you. I still try. I want to help you. Then you just get better, okay? Stana, I don't... I don't want your money. I just want you well. Mrs. Barrington. Terrence, hi. Miss Allison. I have your personal things. Okay. I'm gonna come in and check on you later, okay? I love you. Love you. You close your eyes, okay? Yes, Mrs. Barrington. There's something I want you to do for me. For Allison. Oh. Maybe you can talk to him. Ian. Hi. Karen. Oh, I just saw Ariana. Uh-huh. You can't change my mind. Change your mind about... I'm taking her out of GH, and that's the end of it. But she's in intensive care. Not for much longer. Colleen? Ian, wait. I know as a doctor you understand that... As a doctor, I understand what's best for my wife. I hope you're sure about that. I've been more sure about anything. Colleen. Yeah? Everything's in order to put it through. Should 
right. Yeah, we don't have any choice. So what do you think? Well, I agree. Ariana can't make it without a transplant, but she'll never pull through in her present condition. So the hepatin really is her best chance? She either gets a drug, it improves her liver function, she gets a transplant, or she's not going to make it. It's that simple. Try telling Ian that. Yeah, you try telling Thornhart that he has an accent, and you're going to get an argument. <sighs> Hey, look, he, the hospital gave you the green light, right? Yes, but Ian still did not give us his permission. Well, if the guy really wants to kill his wife, why doesn't he just try to wheel her out the door tonight? Believe it or not, that's just what he's planning on doing. What? He thinks that it will keep us from killing her. That's just ridiculous. Yeah. Listen, I, I, I made the right choice, right? I made the right call, didn't I, Chris? Yeah. I mean, there's no guarantee that a hepatin will work, but without it, Ariana doesn't have a chance. You have to get him to understand that. I tried. He won't listen. Well, you better get him to listen, or there won't be anything to talk about, because Ariana will die, and soon. That you can guarantee him. Where is Dr. Quartermain? If the news was good, he would have been here by now. Well, he is here now, and the news is good. Tell me. Cardiac damage was minimal. So we're going to keep her here for a couple of days, then send her home, but with some changes. Regular exercise, diet. OK, well, you break the news, and I will crack the whip. It's a deal. <laughs> I will lay down the law. In the meantime, she needs some rest, so you may as well go home and check with me later. OK. Oh, she's, <laughs> she's really OK. Mm. Oh, I am so happy for you, Allison. Yeah, oh, you guys were totally there for me. And mm -hmm. and you still are. Libby, what? you're going to be late for your interview with the Dean of Admissions. Oh, yeah, that's that's right. I have to get over to the campus. Hey, I can give you a lift on my bike if you want. There was a house call I thought I was going to have to cancel. I still can. No, 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 go. Just whoever it is, charge them double, because we need that money. Yeah, I'll give Allison a ride home and cover the shop to get back. Oh, man, cool. Right. Cool, yeah. so I'll catch you at home. Bye. Bye. Come on, girl, before you're late for this right. powwow. <laughs> Yeah, I guess. Excuse me, Allison Barrington? Yeah, that's me. I have an envelope for you. For me? Who's it from? Sign and you'll find out. Oh, OK. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Here you go. Thanks. Open it up, just like the guy said. What is it? It's a key with no name. Just an address. No, no, it just says. Says what? Yeah. This is just for you. Don't tell Jamal. Hey, Karen, you got a second? Fairly, it's a little nuts around here. There's something going on with look, Ariana. Look, I, I don't know how to tell you this, so I'm just going to say it, OK? Slow down. Whatever it is, just say it. I told you I went into the garage to pack up the computer, right? Yeah? What about it? It's still working. It can't be. I killed it by pulling out all the wires. I am telling you the wires are gone, but I still got another message from Cookie. Look, Frank, you know everything that's been going on in my life. You saw me at Aunt Carolyn's grave. And with everything going on between Ian and Eve right now, it's, it's helped me put some things into perspective, you know? Like what? The world can change just like that. People lose each other in a heartbeat. I don't want that to happen to us. Neither do I. But here you are with another crazy computer story, Frank. I mean, what is it going to take to finally destroy this thing once and for all? The cookie is at the end of her rope. She is drinking. I can't just turn my back on her. I had to do something. What kind of something? I'm meeting her tonight. Your what? At Kelly's. And I want you to come with me. She needs our help. Frank. There is no way you can possibly communicate over that computer. There is something strange going on here. I agree, but I still have to do it. You can't. I don't I don't want you to meet her. I have to. Then you'll be making a big mistake. A very big mistake. Everybody party. Express yourself. Everybody gonna party. Express yourself. Frank. 
I could use a little help right here. Yes, hi. May I speak to Dr. Quartermain, please? This is Dr. Lambert. Thank you. Alan, hi. Uh, this is Eve Lambert. We have a problem, a big one. It's Ian Thornhart. Stay tuned for scenes from the next Port Charles. Time in a bottle. On the next Port Charles. Okay, let's give her a few more minutes. She'll be here. I, I just have a hunch. Ariana, you're very weak, and we'd like to treat you with a drug to make you stronger to prepare you for a liver transplant. The residents of Pine Valley always seem to be getting into trouble. Find out what they've stumbled into this time with All My Children, coming up next on SoapNet, soap watching made easy.